Hello everyone, my name is Wouter Kuste. I work for Datron in the Netherlands. Uh, I'm going to do, show you some things about the VMware Logon Monitor Fling. This Fling has been uh, produced in, uh, in the spring and it helped me at the customer to get some real results and having, we had performance issues logging in to the VDI environment. Uh, this is the page we have about it. Uh, the Fling itself, it gives a lot of data on what you can use, what you can get from the text files. Uh, this really is a lot and you need, really need to stop check the text files to see what's going on in there. Uh, co uh, installation is very simple, next, next, finish and you're done. There is a slight bit of uh, configuration you can do. And that's over here, the main part is, is that you can set a path where all files will go. Otherwise they will keep locally and we need them somewhere centrally just to get some results with it. Okay, so we open the file right now. On top you see a logon event and a bit later downstairs you see, see me logging on to this. This takes a really long time, a really short time and we, at this point we're seeing good. By the way, this was a really fast logon. Next up you see some G-script and a PowerShell, you see it marked out. And that means those are running at that point, so if you've got more scripts going on, you won't see the script itself, but you will see what process is running that script. Okay, here you see more. This is the information you really, you really want. Uh, my local profile part where my path is being stored, but also the part where it is coming from. So if you're not sure where, where the users are logging, getting the path from, it will show here. Also, you see your profile size. It's not really big in here, but and, and, and the amount of files that's being loaded for the profile. And also what's nice is you see how many you, small or big files are in there. So a lot of times you see a lot of small files getting loaded for the profile, which will really slow down the process of logging on. Also, the free space and the disk space is shown, so if you have in any issues there, and you're not monitoring that any other way, it will show up here. Okay, here you see a lot of uh, different data, your CPU usage, memory usage, how it is used, and uh, on the bottom, uh, we don't have anything that uh, really needs to run at log on. But if it is configured in the profile, you will you'll see it over here. Okay, this is down the text files, almost at the bottom, and here you get the really good stuff. Total logon time, just under 15 seconds for me. You uh, load, uh, the start to high load the time, 2.48 seconds. But the most important one is the what takes long, longest time, a lot of times, is a user profile. Well, as a user uh, policy apply time, nine seconds of 15 seconds while I was logging in over here. Uh, and all, again, you see the uh, free disk space for it. And the machine policy apply time doesn't give any data over here, so that's really nice. I'm going through this. So we got all the data in the text files, we got them stored centrally, we got to do something with it, with, because just having the text files that doesn't give a lot of it. Uh, so I just wrote this little script. It grabs all the text files from the central location. I have uh, set, set the file age. This is just for show. It's 691 seconds of minutes. Normally I would use 30 minutes or five minutes or something. I grab the log summary, the log on time, because that's the, most, that's the information we really uh, like to use for this. And uh, it gets the, the, all the files, it takes the average of all this data, and it shows how long it is taking for the average user to the users to log on averagely. But okay, we, we grab this from PowerShell, but we need to do some, something more with it. So I grab the same script, and this is not viewable, I think. I grab the same script, we're using CheckMK for monitoring. And uh, with that, I've set the warning uh, level uh, was critical. And at the bottom, it creates the data that is uh, being grabbed by uh, CheckMK just to make a real nice warning or whatever with it. So this is how it shows up in our monitoring software. You can see some really big spikes that are over here. And that means that there are some users that didn't have a home drive set. 
This was going on for years and nobody had the idea that they had no home drives and nobody was complaining about it. Well, that's not bad if they're not complaining, but if it's taking four minutes for them to log on, you don't really like that. Uh, so, but uh, we got that fixed, we got the home drive fixed, what can we do more with it? I'm, right now I'm building a script that grabs all the data, it grabs all the virtual machines that had a problem on it, and it also grabs all the files for the users that had a problem. So we can really correlate, well, is the machine problem, is the user problem, where is it going wrong? Is it uh, in the log on time? We can see that from monitoring software and, and stuff like that. We're going, I'm going building, I'm really busy with building that. Uh, but this seems to be made for VDI. If you don't have fear ops or anything, you can use this just to have some information on the log on times for the users. But actually, you don't, it's not only for VDI. If you've got full blown desktops, if, if you've got physical desktops and you have persons having issues logging on, you can also use this, just install it, you have local files, see how long it actually takes for the users to log on. Which will mean, oh well, yeah, logging on takes so long. Well, okay, let me install this and we'll actually see how long it takes to log on for this user. So that, that, that works for everything. If you want it for servers, you can use it, but there's no use in that. But I'm not sure how it works with a remote desktop. But for this, it's really nice. Uh, and that was it for right now. I don't have really, I'm a fast talker, so if you have any more questions, see the scripts, hit me up on Twitter, or check my website, and then uh, we can talk about it.